Hi, I'm Evan. I'm a junior studying biology at a small college in Pennsylvania, and I'm getting ready to take the MCAT exam. You know, the medical college admission test. I really want to go to medical school to be a pediatrician. I was diagnosed with ADHD in elementary school, and I'd like to apply for accommodations on the MCAT exam. The first thing I need to do is register for the MCAT exam. Now I can go to the MCAT accommodations website to review the application requirements and then follow the link to apply for testing accommodations. I'll log in with the AAMC username and password that I just used to register for the MCAT exam. Check out the dates on the right side of the home page. I'm applying more than the posted 60 days before the regular registration deadline on my desired MCAT exam as recommended by the MCAT Office of Accommodated Testing. This will give me the best chance of receiving my decision in time for my preferred date. Now I'll just put in my email address, phone number, and home address. I know this needs to be an email address I'll check a lot, so I'll use my personal one and not the one for my school. I go to school at Oswin College in Pennsylvania. So I'll choose that where it says Undergraduate Institution. I haven't taken the MCAT before, but I did take the SAT in high school. I was diagnosed with ADHD in 2000. When I was 8, I was in Ms. Dobre's third grade class. Now I have some questions to answer about my testing history. Since I was diagnosed, I've always been able to get extra time on tests in school and on the SAT. I do have medication that I take every day. I know I need more time to study than a lot of my friends do. And I always study in one of the quiet rooms of the library, so my roommate doesn't distract me. Okay, these are filled out now, so I just have the last one. I would like to have extended time and a private room for the MCAT. That's what I had for the SAT and that worked really well for me. Now I have to get all of my documents ready. I can mail them in, but it's so much faster to just upload them here and I don't have to worry about going to the post office. I already saved all of my documents to my computer as PDFs with my initials, what they are, and this year. So I'll just make all of the titles the same. That'll make finding them really easy if I need to look at them again later. Hmm, I haven't gotten my transcript yet. I'll come back later and add that. Okay, I have my transcript now, and I saved it to my computer as a PDF. I'm ready to log back in and finish where I left off.
There we go. Everything looks good. So I'll review and submit my application now. Oh, I completely forgot to upload my cover letter. I'll do that now. Okay, now all of my documents are there and I'm ready to submit my application. There, that all looks right. And submit. I'm done for now. Right after I submitted my application, I got an email from the MCAT Office of Accommodated Testing. It said that I could log back in to check on the status of my application. So, let's see if anything has changed. It looks like when I left the application and came back, it saved as a draft. And now it lists my application has been submitted. I'm glad that everything has been sent to the MCAT accommodations team like it's supposed to. It's been over a month now and I just got another email from the MCAT Office of Accommodated Testing. It said that there was a status change to my application. I really hope that my accommodations were approved. Once I've logged in, I see there's a letter waiting for me in the correspondence section. Yes, it looks like a decision was made on my request. Overall, the submission process was pretty simple. I'm happy to have received my decision.